as little gadgets as possible if you can. Gadgets are fine if you don't have time. But for keeping in touch with food, it, it is very important. Now, another thing that you probably won't see is the prayer that goes into the food as well. It's the prayer that you carry with you too during the day that is the most important prayer of all. Being grateful, okay? This is living energy, so it's going to pick up on all of those thoughts, all of those prayers. So we're going to put that into the bowl. So now we're going to cut the chives. Lovely. So one, four, five lots of. We also need the turmeric. Okay, so we want just about a, a heaped teaspoon. Okay, and fold that through. Doubling up on the chives here. And once again, when you have a recipe from somewhere, it doesn't mean to say that you can't play around with it. Please play around with recipes. It's really awesome. And then it becomes part of your creation too. Beautiful fresh coriander. So fairly big slices, I think, in, in these. I think it could do with mm, a little bit more pepper. So a couple more shakes. Remember, this is up to you. It's up to you what you put in it, but this is what I'm doing. I don't know what measurement a couple more shakes is, so you'll have to bear with me with that one. But to your own taste. The pepper does seem to bring the flavour out a, little, a lot more though. And pepper is also medicinal as well. So your food really is your medicine, okay, and it needs to be living medicine, not dead medicine. Oh gee, that's nice. Okay, we're going to do a couple more shakes of the shoyu. Now that also helps bring the colour out a little bit more too. It adds, adds a full flavour to it. Now we don't normally use soy apart from shoyu, or tamari or brags and minos because I'm not keen on soy. Okay, beautiful. I think. Mm. Oh, yum. This is just absolutely beautiful. And we can put it on. Sprouted grain bread is absolutely awesome. The dried bread. And put a little bit of olive oil on it. Really nice. Just instead of margarine. There. Horrible stuff. Butter, I don't have dairy, so, you know, olive oil gets the five stars as far as I'm concerned. It gets the thumbs up. It is good. And this is spicky pick. Just a little bit over the top. Salt is good for you. Your brain needs salt. Your body needs salt. Okay, there's lots of trace elements in salt. So salt is good for you. Make sure that it's the good salt, not the iodized salt or table salt that's totally void of anything that's good for you. Okay, another important thing to remember is that if you do have any parsley left over, eat it. Never leave the parsley on your plate, okay? It is exceptionally good for you. Very good for the lungs. And if you have a, a close look, let's do a close up of this. Now here we have, yum, <laughs> sorry, here we have something that looks a little bit like the insides of the lungs, the branches that go out, the bronchioli and the alveoli being in, in these little parts here, but it actually looks like lungs. OK. 
Okay. Now also, if we have a look at the shape of the, all of it together, you'll see a heart shape in there. Okay. We know that parsley is exceptional for the heart, exceptional for the lungs, and exceptional for the blood. Okay. Living food will give you living force, giving you living vitality. Really good. And the more you eat it, the more uplifted you feel. Scrambled excellence. I hope you enjoy it. Let's try that again.